I give a lot of presentations on climate change, and since I live in a fairly conservative area, I'm always dealing with predictable questions and challenges from the audience. One that I've come to expect often starts out like this. I have read a book. Or, more often, they've talked to someone who knows somebody who's read a book. As often as not, that book that somebody has read is Unstoppable Global Warming Every 1500 Years by S. Fred Singer and Dennis Avery. So it's become a touchstone in the denialist catalog, and I thought I should try to find out who are these guys. Dennis Avery is not a scientist. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Neither am I. He studied agricultural economics at Michigan State University and the University of Wisconsin, held a mid-level State Department position under President Reagan, and is now a senior fellow at the Hudson Institute, a right-wing think tank, where he has labored for years writing bestsellers such as Saving the Planet with Pesticides and Plastic and Warning Americans About the Deadly Dangers of Organic Food. S. Fred Singer, it turns out, is a scientist. He is an atmospheric physicist with an impressive resume and academic stints at several major universities. In the 1990s, Dr. Singer became well-known for moonlighting outside his field as a consultant to the tobacco industry and as a critic of attempts to regulate secondhand smoke. He was a longtime consultant to the tobacco lobby in a well-funded effort to, quote, restore smoker confidence. He recently spoke to an interviewer about any moral concerns he may have had taking money from the tobacco industry. Dr. Singer insists it makes no difference where the money came from. They don't carry a note on a dollar bill saying, this comes from the tobacco industry. In any case, I was not aware of it, and I didn't ask Tocqueville where they get their money. That's not my business. Throughout the 1990s, he was also writing op-eds in the Wall Street Journal and other venues saying that global warming did not exist. Sometime prior to the publication of his book, he apparently switched his position. Now global warming not only exists, but it is natural and unstoppable. The book itself is an unremarkable catalog of standard climate denial crocs. The title refers to a supposed 1,500-year cycle of unstoppable global warming. It references research on ice core data from Greenland, which shows that during previous glacial periods, there have been occasional spikes in temperature over the ice sheet on approximately a 1,500-year cycle. Sometimes the cycle skips a beat and goes to 3,000 years, or another multiple of 1,500. Not enough to melt the ice sheet, but noticeable in the core record and intriguing to climatologists. They're called Dansgaard Oshker events. The question that scientists have been trying to address is, are these global temperature events or regional anomalies due to changes in heat flow from ocean currents or other causes? More recent data from similar ice cores in the southern polar cap provide some answers. Here are some graphs of temperature data from ice cores. The top graph is from Greenland, the bottom from Antarctica. I'll be zooming in on this to make the important details clear. Remember, the top is Greenland, the bottom is Antarctica. You'll see the graph coming in from the left, which is data starting about 90,000 years back. Notice, as the temperature goes up in Greenland, at the same time, it drops in Antarctica. Want to see it again? There you go. Up in Greenland, down in Antarctica. Up in Greenland, down in Antarctica. Here the record skips a beat or two, and then it happens again. Up in the north, and down in the south. Up in the north, and down in the south. Up in the north, and down in the south. Do you think you can pick one out without the red arrows? Of course you can. There it is, up in the north and down in the south. Dansgaard Oshker events are significant features of the global climate cycle, but they are regional, not global warming events. It's what most current climate science refers to as a bipolar seesaw between northern and southern hemispheres. It's a redistribution of heat a change in the heat flow between north and south, possibly related to ocean currents. When one part of the planet warms, another cools at the same time. So, current scientific consensus is that the so-called 1500-year cycle is not the, a global event that the denialists would like you to believe. So where does this leave our friends? 
Dr. Singer continues to lecture, maintaining that global warming is not real, unless it is real, in which case it's natural and unstoppable. Mr. Avery has taken another tack. In a recent interview, unstoppable warming is gone, and a cooling phase has begun, which is likely to last 25 or 30 years. Confused? Don't be. That's how they work. They are paid to mislead, obscure, obfuscate, and create paralysis. It's a time-tested technique. And every week that goes by that America does nothing about climate, the fossil fuel companies who support these think tanks make billions more dollars. It makes perfect sense business-wise. So let's review. Organic food is safe. Cigarette smoke is not. And climate change is real. I've been getting lots of real great feedback on this climate series. Please continue to comment, send feedback and questions, and tell your friends, especially your denier friends, about these videos. I'll continue to make sure that the very best information is available here, and in coming weeks we'll tackle all your favorite climate crocs. Thanks for watching, and come back again next week.